My office calendar page for today has this quote. Good habits are not made on birthdays, nor Christian character at the new year. The workshop of character is everyday life. The uneventful and commonplace hour is where the battle is lost or won. As a model, my guest has faced the pressure to, well, embrace cultural trends that, you know, lean to immodesty. With a daughter of her own, she's passionate about helping women reach God's highest and best, be all the woman they can be. Tressa Lemke is creator of Beautiful Inside and Out God's Way. And it's a joy to welcome you back from Winnipeg. Winnipeg. Thank you. You are so sweet. I love it. I love it when you talk because you inspire me to keep going because I know you're so passionate about it too. It's awesome. Well, I love your mission. Thank you. I love Thank your mission. You. Here's, a, here's a big thing that I know you're looking to. This is a Washington Post article. High fashion is an art form that thrives on pushing the boundaries of sex and skin. Yeah. It may be turning toward modesty and a revival of minimalism. Mm. Wow. Are you seeing that? Sometimes, but not a lot. Not I, I, I Definitely not. Because every commercial, most commercials, television shows, I mean, everywhere you go, there is skin. I mean, cleavage, short skirts. I mean, not only is it going lower, but it's going higher and it's separating in the middle. And I, I just I, I just don't understand how we as women really want that attraction, that, that attention. Um, if you're really, really insecure, then maybe that very um, superficial attention makes mm. you feel good. But it's, as a Christian woman especially, it's not what you want, you know? I've got a couple of photos. Take a look again. Why right. not? Yeah, absolutely. I did uh, wear my ring in honor of that <laughs> for you and me today. But anyway. Were you pleased to see this, Tressa? You know, I, I was, um, and I, I love that her arms are covered. I mean, you know me and about the cleavage it's thing. It's a little low. too low, and if I don't I... say what I'm actually thinking, then I'm, because that, that's what I would say, um, I would have had a little extra bit of lace there. Mm -hmm. um, but I love that she's covered. But you know one of the reasons it looks so good on her is because it frames her face. Mm. See, to me, I don't want to look like I'm not wearing any clothes on my wedding day. You know, like a strapless. It's, it's, it's nice to have something that frames your face. Mm. And it's not even about, and I always think, you know, sort of ironic that you're at a church and there's a pastor in front of you marrying and then there's usually so much for him to not want to be looking at. <laughs> it's just like, I don't get that. But. Take a look at this. Okay. This is a, one of the things you emphasize. It's not just about fashion. It's sure. about restoring femininity. Yeah. Femininity in all its forms, mm -hmm. including hospitality and conduct That's in all right. ways. That's right. I mean, this was a reflection many felt of Grace Kelly, Princess Grace of Monaco's gown right. half a century earlier mm. so in in many ways uh, beautiful and elegance restored well and you know the comment that there's a lot of women in the world but very few ladies and that's mm. my observation and so I am trying to make women uh, kind of reevaluate what how they dress and not just fall into the norm. And there's times when, of course, you're going to wear a pair of jeans and, and running shoes to something, and you're going to, um, you know, fit into the uh, environment that you're in. Like, I used to wear heels to a baseball game. I don't do that anymore, because yeah. I realize that looks kind of silly. But um, if a woman realizes that it's good to at least know what to wear and when you should and shouldn't wear it, and mm -hmm. so there's times, yeah, you have, to, you have to embrace your femininity. It doesn't make you weak. In fact, to me, it gives you more balance and strength and, and, and confidence. I really, well, Tress, really as Christian that. women, I think we need the education. I think we need to learn that men are visual. And if it's not oh, for sale, goodness. don't advertise it. Oh, yeah. And like I've said to you so many times, we are so responsible for what the public looks at. And if I, you know, meet a gentleman, I don't want him to not know where to look. And know? what are those inner garments that you oh, love yeah. to talk well, about? Well, we talk about, you know, when you get dressed, yes, you care about what you have on the outside, but you, you want to have patience and love and kindness. It's like the fruits of the spirit, but mm. it's, it's basically just trying to realize that the inside is so much more important. And a comment that comes into mind, and I really want to uh, say this today, sometimes we make choices and we don't realize that I'm talking about fashion, that maybe would be appropriate someplace, but they're not necessarily appropriate another place. And you have to think, where am I going to be today? What do I need to do? 
because I had a situation here two years ago or three years was when I first time I was ever here on Huntley and I was on full circle and I was wearing a skirt that was totally fine standing up. I mean, it went to my knees. You have to try it sitting down though, right? Oh my word. Mm -hmm. And on a deep couch. Anyway, long story short, I had some, I cried. Like when I went back to the hotel and I saw the show, I was just devastated because it rode up. I'm sitting there with my legs crossed, even though I had dark stockings on, it looked like I'm wearing a miniskirt. So I wasn't, but it looked like that, right? So anyway, long story short, what I learned from that is two things. A, you're sitting correctly. You're in a skirt, you've got your knees down. You know, sometimes we have to be reminded that it's sometimes how we're sitting. That, you know, because if an angle of somebody, you know, if you're up on a platform, you really have to be careful because you're up like this, right? Um, and so if you're, if you're doing a job where you're constantly bending over, like if I was coordinating a wedding or doing a fashion event, I always wear something that is really close up to my collarbone or um, has absolutely, like I would never even wear this because every time I bend over, I would either have to be constantly taking my left hand, of which I need to pick stuff up, so I can't be doing two things that, you know. So again, you have to think. So we as women have to say, my goal is to radiate and shine for Jesus with all my words and my actions. But on my clothing, I'd like it to kind of help and assist me in getting the message of what my heart is all about. Well, it's an right? important so it's, crusade, Tressa. It's a balance act. We're always glad to have you give us that you. little reminder. Yeah. And I know you were in Port Rowan. Yes. Here yeah. in Ontario last weekend. Oh, it was so exciting. It, 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 they were such a they're such a great group of ladies, and I know you've been there before, so they talk about Moira, and I was like, okay, but you're just, yeah. It was awesome, and, and it, it was sold out, which is really exciting, and they invited me to come, and, uh, and so my assistant and I have just had a wonderful time, and once again, it's always so nice to be back here to see you and Thank you. talk about, you know, like the girly stuff. The and, girl stuff. Yes, you know, yeah. Jim is not in the room, but it's all good. <laughs> Thanks, Tressa. Thank you. We'll be back. Don't go away.